Good morning, everybody. And it is Friday and it's a Friday on a weekend, a long weekend, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. And what an opportunity for everybody to get in touch with people. And we're going to talk about that, what you can do uh, just to get some uh, listings. Always bothers me why that keeps saying start when I've already started. So hold on. Let me double check. Double check. Double check. Okay, let's see, let's see, make sure we're live and we can hear each other. Let me double check. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we have listed 152 homes yesterday. How wonderful is that? But you know what? I think a lot of those were, were million dollar homes because uh, we have like around 376, well, maybe 386. So I think we listed $10 million homes yesterday. Wow, that's a lot of homes. But anyway, we've listed 152. So there's 120 new single family homes for people to see that they haven't seen. And we put um, 101 single family homes under contract. And we closed 99 for a total of 2,264 single family homes to look at, which gives us, with the condos and townhomes, 18 and a half days of inventory. So we're not going down. We're not going down. So that's good. We're not going down. Uh, I think 18 is good. It seems to be working uh, so far. <clears throat> um, what else is on here? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're like, I mean, we're twice as much, um, in, uh, twice as many sales this May than last May when the pandemic was in full force and we were shut down, locked down. Um, so uh, we're doing about 136 homes a day now. Uh, and for the so far this year, we're right on track to do um, our average of 137. Now, there's probably going to be a lot of closings today, I would anticipate, because Monday's a holiday. That will up the numbers because you have the weekend then to rec record them in the MLS appropriately, uh, like you're supposed to do. And <clears throat> so that'll up our numbers. Probably we're going to do more than a, we may like even get it up to 140, I might say. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. I, I didn't, that's off the top of my head. I really didn't do any analyzing to figure that out. But I think we'll probably end up about 140. A lot of homes probably going to close today. All righty. So we have $396 million homes on the market um, also. Uh, and of course, that market is doing really, really well. People from California moving here. Uh, and, it, you know, uh, not getting political, not getting political. But, um, you know, the, the rumors for... Uh, the current administration to increase the taxes, to get rid of the 1031 tax, to double the uh, capital gains tax. That is probably, you know, when you think about it, yes, it's going to affect us and our market, but it's really going to affect the expensive market in California and New York, states like that, where the, <clears throat> the price points are pretty high. So we'll see what how that affects us. It could be good. Um, so if you have investors right now, you know, you might want to just ask them if they're aware of it and if they're prepared for it. Um, they, I mean, I know you probably, if you have a property management company, you probably don't want to lose, you know, but a lot of investors for the homes that you manage. But I think that it's always good to uh, let them know, you know, that if they, um, if they sell now or I'm, I'm, and sometime this year, maybe toward the end of the year, before that tax gets um, doubled, uh, it might be something they consider because I'll guarantee you some of the, some of the investors bought back in, in 2011 and 2012, and they're going to have some big capital gains. Uh, and then again, it depends on everybody's tax situation. So you always advise them to contact their uh, CPA or, you know, who does their taxes. So anyway, um, and then that will affect us. And the other thing people need to be aware of is that when inflation starts hitting us harder and it's already hitting, gas is more expensive, bread's more expensive, milk's more expensive. And of course our houses are more expensive, but what's gonna happen is that 
interest, the interest rates are going to start edging up. So we want to get more listings. So I'm going to segue here. Uh, today's show is not going to be very long, but the information is very strong.